Sagittarius and Sagittarius placement. Toxic workplace series. Let's see what we got. Timeless message. This could be something that has already happened. It's happening or has the potential to happen. And I say potential because you can transmute the energy. Let's see what we got, Sagittarius. What's the overall theme? Okay. Soul contracts. Number 13 or 4. 4 talks about stability. Okay. Before you were born, you agreed to partake in specific experiences that assist in the evolution of your soul. Soul contracts. You signed up for this many, many, many blue moons ago. Okay. You may not remember signing this contract, but this is part of your evolution, Sagittarius, part of your spiritual life uh, path, whatever job, whatever job you're, you are currently at. Okay. Um, at the bottom of the deck, I got number two freedom of choice your choices are yours to make don't allow others to make your choices for you okay so whatever job you choose it's up to you if you want to stay or not if you want to e e evolve if you want to do something different but maybe some of you guys are learning this through relationships with others okay and that's what relationships are all about even colleagues in corporate okay business partners they teach us right shine light and light and shadow okay you learn okay so let's see let's go a little deeper here why is this place considered toxic i got ace of swords and i can't help but to say it's to get clarity on what you don't want sometimes we choose we have to experience things to know what we don't want so that we can know what we do want so it's some type of clarity you're getting. Transformation, look at that, the death card. Okay, that talks about rebirth. All right, so subconsciously you're you're going through this rebirth, this change of what do you like, what you don't like, um, what you're willing to settle for, okay? But you're the more you experience life and be open and, to, and receptive to it, the more clarity you gain. So even though some things may be in contrast to what you like, the more stuff that comes your way that you don't like makes you more clearer in seeing the truth for what it is, okay? So um, are you happy at, it's like asking yourself those hard, challenging questions, you know? Could be hard for some people, you know, are you happy at this job? Is this something that you really um, see yourself doing or is it fear of wanting to do something different? You know, for example, because sometimes emotions um, that we experience or have, shall I say, um, are self-serving in the sense that they serve us in a way, um, good or bad or indifferent, right? So fear helps us to keep us in our comfort zone. So that's how it serves us, right? Clarify Ace of Swords. Yep, going with the ebb and flow, Will of Fortune. <laughs> seeker of arrows so yeah it's like going with the flow is what you've been doing but the more you do that and you have some contrast like conflict at the job for example you like i know what i don't want or what i can't can't stand maybe before in the past you tolerated toxic relationships in the past but now you're like okay if i'm i know how to keep my nose clean or not gossip or not participate like i did before at the last job for example um i know how to you know put my nose down get the job done and go okay or for some of you you're like okay this job has an expiration i'm only going to be here for a while for a certain amount of time you're finding out information regarding that okay yep five of flames rivalry which is five of wands i did speak of that conflict at the bottom of the deck so um you know who to hang with who to talk to who not to talk to okay you see things for who they are or people for who they are, Sagittarius, okay, all right, let's see what we got, how do your colleagues feel, if this is your story, don't force it, how do your colleagues feel, Oof. I don't think, they don't want to be there, five of cups, regret, you may have a revolving door, this screams revolving door at your job, okay, um, she's mourning over a casket, the shoulda, coulda, the regrets, I shoulda, did something different you know i shouldn't have said yes to this job i should have spoke up or i should have um, made them the energy i'm getting also they they said they were going to give me a raise i should have had them put that in writing now i can't prove it and they refuse to give me a raise 
It's that type of energy, okay, from your colleagues. The shoulda, coulda, woulda, I shoulda said no, or I shoulda um, fought harder for a better pay, for better pay, for example, or a better schedule for some of you, okay? Yep, stability, okay? Four of flames or four of swords, okay? It's the shoulda, coulda, wouldas. For some of you, your colleagues wish they could become entrepreneurs or just self more self-reliant or have a voice is what i'm getting fighting for because with nine of keys or nine of pentacles um it's 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 part of that is standing into your own power okay having the respect okay that um i can do things on my own okay and people trust me to do to get the work done okay and for some of you you may have colleagues that they may feel a little shaky about that so may, let's say you have a boss that doesn't trust your colleagues or trust you okay for example and you're used to doing things your way and in order but you have a boss that throws a monkey wrench and they're disorganized and they are very emotional you know for some you know Monday and Tuesday, they're cool. Wednesday and Thursday, they play hell and killer, don't want to talk to you. Friday, you know, there it's like that, okay? So this is very eye-opening from your colleague's perspective, okay? That is the shoulda, coulda, woulda. I shoulda fought harder for myself. I shoulda been an advocate. Yep, seven of swords. For some of you, this is a revolving door. I said it, and this is what it's looking like. She is decked to the nine in a business suit. Going out to lunch, um, leaving work early or scheduling interviews during your lunch hour, you know, that's the energy that it's giving me, okay? So that they could become more, in, you know, independent and, and empowered. Queen of Swords, she's an advocate for herself and for others, okay? But there's this revolving door at your job. Can't make this up, okay? Six of Swords, going on to greener pastures. Your colleagues feel that way, or you may feel feel that way okay or all of y'all feel this way wearing your heart no longer on your sleeve or on your back like i gave it all that i could but now i need to search for happiness and peace there's the sun there beautiful okay so you have a high turnover rate at your job like i said before um how can you help yourself sagittarius blocking out a negativity Okay, two of swords. So whatever your purpose is, I got two of cups in alignment. So that's two twos right here. Okay, being in alignment with your higher self, your higher consciousness, keeping your nose clean, okay, at your job. Two of swords is following your inner guidance. Okay, blocking out external gossip, he say, she say, all of that. Okay, and utilizing or using this job is what I'm getting. Using this job to your benefit. Okay, it's all about perspective when it comes to being in a, a toxic environment. Getting what you can out of it, even if it's just, okay, well, um, I'm at this job because it's paying the bills, but at least it gives me more free time. Let's say you have a part-time job to do the things that I actually love, right? And once those start making money, then I can quit this part-time thing. Or I'm use it, utilizing this full-time job just for insurance sake, um, but I'm still working on my dreams, my goals, Okay, this is how you can protect yourself. Blocking out all the negativity, all right, the gossiping and all of that, and focusing on you, Sagittarius. How can you help others? The fool, okay, this talks about new beginnings, all right, having a, a, a clean slate, okay. I'm getting forgiveness for a lot of you, is how you can help others, all right. There's this forgiveness energy, all right. But manifesting new journeys, being an inspiration to others, okay? For some of you, you may tell somebody about your rituals that may inspire other people, about full moons and new moons and new beginnings and affirmations and law of attraction. So that's how you can help others, okay? But having that um, beginner's mindset, not feeling like you know it all, okay? And the outcome, the star. Aquarius energy, going after your goals, your dreams, and making your job um, fund your life career, okay? This is the energy that I'm getting. Love you.
Bye.